Hey Fit Fam, it's me Sydney and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how I paid for college without actually paying for college and how I got my college for free. So with that being said, it wasn't really free, I did scholarships, I'm going to tell you guys how I did it, how you guys can do it and if you guys can take anything from this video, I want you guys to know that the one thing I highly recommend you do is be persistent and just follow up if you want scholarships and take your time in doing this because you don't have to do these all the time um there's scholarship renewals and stuff like that that make it a little easier next time you want to do a scholarship so like the first time is always the hardest so the first thing i want to tell you guys about is fafsa fafsa is something that's federal student aid that's free and if it, you're gonna do one thing from this whole video you have to do fafsa that is one thing that like is so amazing so awesome the deadline for the government and everything is june 30th so i would really get on that um, or maybe it's September 14th if you have any changes you need to do to it or something like that But if I were you I would just get on it while you're watching this video That's for this upcoming year and then you can always file but like it doesn't always like go completely through So if I were you I would like just file now file for FAFSA That is a free application where the government gives you money and with filing for FAFSA I ended up getting the Obama scholarship because my family is so my mom is a single parent with three kids total, so me and two of my siblings, and then she's also a teacher, so she makes under 60,000, which shows that she is someone that is like in a financial need to like have someone help pay for college for me. So I got about 8,000 um, um, a semester, no, a year. I got 8,000 a year through the Obama scholarship, which was super awesome. Then I ended up getting the Pell Grant for doing FAFSA as well. That is through the university, that is not through Obama. So I got the Pell Grant, that is $500 a semester, so total of thousands. So right there I have $9,000 in just scholarships uh, per year. But then, it also, my Obama scholarship ended up covering my dorm as well, so that was really cool, dorm and meal plan. So I ended up not having to, and it, it gave me about 8,000 a semester with the dorm as well, but that was just for tuition for the other. So it was really awesome because it covered all of those things. So if you're someone that thinks that your family is need-based, obviously fill it out but if you're someone that thinks that maybe you could get a hundred dollars out of FAFSA do it because at the end of the day money is money and if your parents are already going to pay for your scholarship maybe they'll say or pay for your school maybe they'll say wow you got that scholarship that's super awesome like keep that money or we'll give you that money because you did that on your own and you care about your education so FAFSA is easy to fill out make sure you have your parents with you though because they have to fill out their IRS information and like you obviously won't know that um they also have workshops just for a reference if you guys don't know how to fill it out what we did was we went to a school that like was holding it asu has FAFSA workshops um i went to an asu one and it they just help you fill it out it was super awesome if you had questions they help you make sure you remember your password because we had to stay there a lot longer because I, I forgot my password the next thing that you need to remember is the fact that no scholarship is too big or too small so when I say that, when you're looking for a scholarship, they have so many out there. If you're looking for ones that are not through the university and not through FAFSA, there are so many. So a couple tips that I did and that I'm going to give you guys for scholarships because I did receive some that were not through Obama, which is how I got money back. I was able to get money back because... I'd already covered all of my scholarship and then they transferred into my ASU account and it was already going over so they just send you a check and that's free money you guys like doing a scholarship you get the money back if you don't need to use it for college and that's like super awesome because it ended up giving me I think I had $954 or something like that um, in return returns so like I was able to pay for my books and do like so many things that were super I was so happy I was just really happy about that but that was a really cool thing and the way that I got other scholarships that were not like the ones through FAFSA is I googled things that were like around my major so we're gonna take exercise and wellness for example and we're gonna say what I would google and like what I personally did so hopefully this helps you out so what I would do is as an exercise and wellness major obviously you want to you know tailor it and talk about a few things so in all of your scholarship essays talk about why you need the scholarship what is the need base that you have then also, how is this scholarship going to help you reach your career and education goals? And obviously, if it's 
you know pushed closer to like a topic that people in that career usually get the degree for it really helps so I did um, I searched like gym scholar gym college scholarships um, fitness scholarships weight room scholarships like anything that was around that realm or nutrition I even looked up nutrition scholarships I submitted scholarships for in my essay though I made sure to get it proved by someone else and then I I just like got it proved by someone else had someone look it over I made sure to include the same kind of like basic things but then I rewrote it because you want to make sure that it's tailored to that specific scholarship they ask you a very specific question and if it doesn't look like you if you look like you copy and pasted it for every single one because it's easy when you're looking up the same things and they ask similar questions they're gonna be able to notice because a lot of the time it's not answering the question fully so if I were you I would make sure I answered the question very fully um, but then I also included the need base and how it's gonna affect your career um, and your goals to be able to do things and so that's how I kind of did it in the beginning there's also a ton of portals that do scholarships and then you can just submit them there um, references are something that you're gonna need so make sure you talk to people like your high school counselor to do one maybe one of your administrators uh, maybe a teacher whatever make sure you ask them for a letter of reference but then like some of them are going to ask for a very specific one so you want to give them like extracurriculars you did what career you're doing what your gpa was so that then when they fill out the re letter of reference for you they actually have like real information so people know that they actually know you the other thing is all scholarships add up even if it's a 20 dollars scholarship a 50 dollars 300 dollars try to get those because they all add up and if you can get a little bit of money so you don't have to take as big of a loan or your parents don't have to pay as much and maybe they'll even like let you you know keep the money but those are like options I don't know I'm kind of like it's early in the morning you guys and it's kind of hard for me to talk but those are two things that I really wanted to touch on in this if you are someone who's younger than a senior raise.me is a cool website you can actually earn scholarships just by volunteering and doing things and you are already on, like you can get scholarships starting in ninth grade so i just think that's a super awesome way to do it i love everything linked down below for you guys though and i paid for all my scholarships or i paid for my schooling through scholarships and i ended up getting money back i got you know a decent amount back and it was awesome because now I'm not worried and stressed about paying for college. I did not have to take out a loan my freshman year. And I know so many people who like didn't understand how to do a scholarship. And I really hope that this helped you guys out. Um, just remember the basics. In every scholarship essay, make sure you get it proved by someone else. Need base. Explain why you need the scholarship. Explain how it's going to help you reach your career goals why you're passionate about it and make sure in the beginning of the essay to answer the question there's five things that you always need to include make sure you do those and i will have all of the scholarship portals that i personally use or that i think will benefit you linked down below and asu has a scholarship portal as well so i'll have that linked um a lot of colleges do so i think it's a really good opportunity to like you know once you're admitted or something like go through it or try to find it with before you get admitted and yeah, and also they sometimes have alumni scholarships. That's something that you can definitely look into for the colleges that you're trying to go to if your parents already went there. Um, for community college, FAFSA is a need, you guys. If you are going to community college, file for FAFSA because that is going to probably cover all of your uh, expenses for community college. So they also have like ones for like your GPA at community college too. So yeah with that being said though i love you guys so much and i will talk to you guys in my next video if this helped you out then i'm glad and i love you guys don't forget to follow me on instagram too so i'm gonna redo my outro because i just want you guys to love me <laughs> but anyways that's all for this video i love you guys so much i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to follow me on instagram um you can follow me on snapchat i'm a little less active on there and you guys can check out my website if you guys need any health and fitness advice. Um, college advice is all just going to be sporadically throughout everywhere. And yeah, so I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, babes.